I, I thought since I kind of, I thought I got away with it in a way, three to nine years of incarceration, which I was confronting 25 years of, uh, of jail time. And so when I was released eventually, uh, and it was just stupidity in my part, making this prayer to God <laughs> for six months, you know, without drinking alcohol. So when I was released again, I just felt that I'm invincible in a sense, that I can get away with my sins mm. and crime. And so I waited that six months and I went to celebrate. Uh, I've been sober for six months, sobriety, yeah, now I could go celebrate with my friends. And I went to this restaurant to have a drink and I run into an old acquaintance. And now this individual was controlling over a ton of cocaine, uh, distributing it from Colombia to the United States. And he approached me, uh, salutations, greetings in Spanish. And I already knew what he was up to. And he said, look, I'm controlling this amount of drugs. And if you're interested, you can get involved once again. At that point, I was dealing with my conscience. My heart was screaming like, don't do it. But then I thought about the money and the easy opportunity in which I was introduced many, many years ago when I got involved with this drug uh, enterprise, uh, which I, when I first witnessed $1.2 million in cash. So I thought about that once again. I said, you know what, I'm smarter. <laughs> I, I, I have my people in place. You know, this time I'm not gonna get arrested. And I went right back into it. And it reminds me of uh, the scriptures in Proverbs 26, 11, how a dog returns to his vomit. Yeah. So do fools repeat their folly. And that's what happened, I accepted and I started to engage once again, distributing cocaine all throughout the United States of America with now my second oldest brother. Uh, and we got rearrested. Um, one of his contacts was uh, working with the DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency, and he gave you know, information into the police and was arrested. For now, facing um, 25 years again, uh, they confiscated nine kilos of cocaine, and now I'm back in a federal prison. <laughs> 